Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We're excited to talk more about the expansion of our multi-platform product, Google Play Games on PC, and what we have in store for this year. Our goal is to help you grow your business by easily distributing your great games across mobile, tablets, Chromebooks, and Windows PCs. My name is Urjan Dayal, and I'm the Director of Product for Google Play Games. I'm joined today by Grace and John, who will provide additional updates on our program to help you get onboarded even faster. Let's get started. With Google Play Games on PC, our vision is to make gaming across mobile and large screens seamless and enjoyable. And when you switch devices, your purchases and progress transfer instantly, so you never have to worry about restarting your favorite game from scratch on a new device. Bringing your games to larger screens allows you to grow your business with a valuable multi-platform audience. There are already over 2.5 billion mobile gamers and over a billion PC gamers, with more joining every day. And our research shows significant crossover in mobile gamers who also play games on their PCs, which means there's already a large, motivated audience ready to play your game on more screens today. And when we ask players around the world if they would like to see their mobile games come to PCs, the answer we hear is a resounding yes across many of the largest markets in the world. Why players want to see their mobile games on PCs is for reasons you might expect, including the ability to have a more immersive gameplay experience on a larger screen, being able to use mouse and keyboard controls within games, multitasking with other chat and video services while playing, and preserving battery life on your mobile phones. With Google Play Games, we've brought all of this together in our new Windows desktop client. We focused on making discovery of great games a breeze with the launch of our new user experience. And once you've found a game to jump into, you're transported into an immersive, large screen experience that makes all of your gameplay fun and exciting. And for developers, the benefits of working with us to bring your games to a multi-platform audience are clear. We're excited to help you increase your reach, engagement, and ROI for your new and existing games. You'll also be able to build higher quality games that can be played across more Google services. And we'll help you simplify the onboarding process to make your cross-platform development journey easier. As we've entered beta in our first 13 markets, Many top games and developers have joined us with their fully optimized games. Our catalog now includes games which have close to 150 billion monthly minutes of gameplay on mobile and hundreds of millions of active players across mobile and PC. Some of our most recent additions include great games like Eversoul, Blade Idol, Lords Mobile, Evany, and many more as we've continued to make it easier for you to bring your titles to our platform. And so far, we've seen strong metrics from our beta release. On average, we've seen more engagement with a 35% increase in playtime across both mobile and PC. More revenue with up to a 5% increase in non-paying users becoming payers. And more net new users with 30% of players discovering a game they had not previously played on mobile. Now, I'm thrilled to give you a sneak peek of some of the world's most popular games that are coming to Google Play Games on PC this year. Soon, you'll be able to experience one of the largest battle royale games in the world with Garena Free Fire. Play a multiplayer match within Ludo King, the highly popular casual board game. And team up with your favorite Disney and Pixar characters to take on epic quests in Disney Mirrorverse. You'll also be able to jump into a fun new slingshot adventure with Angry Birds 2. Explore fantasy MMORPG open world with MapleStory M. And join an anime equestrian universe within Uma Musume. That's the sneak peek. We're really looking forward to bringing all of these games to you very soon. The potential for Google Play Games to help your business grow is strong. And we're excited to bring more developers into our program and help you succeed. Grace is now going to walk you through the marketing benefits and opportunities you can unlock by bringing your games to Google Play Games on PC today. Thanks, Urjan. Hi, I'm Grace, Marketing Manager for Google Play Games. I'll be diving deeper into the unique marketing opportunities available to partners to acquire users across mobile and PC and a preview of our expansion plans. As Urjan mentioned, it's been an exciting journey for us. 
Last year, we launched Google Play Games on PC in open beta in 13 countries, including the U.S., South Korea, Brazil, and Indonesia, with many more coming this year. For each of these launch moments, we brought the best of Google's marketing capabilities to spotlight our partners' games on PC and reach users as they discover this new way to play. Here's just a few of the different marketing opportunities we offer partners to drive awareness of your titles on Google Play Games and player acquisition. On the Google Play Store, which reaches billions of users, we have regular prominent feature placements on both mobile and web, and game-specific notifications to let players know your game is available on PC. We also push bespoke social promotions for your games on PC on our Google Play social channels, which have a wide audience following across Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Here's an example of a promotion we did for the SimShip launch of Summoner's War Chronicles in the US on mobile and PC. Beyond those channels, partners can also benefit from featuring on both the Google Play Games website and directly in the desktop client. Additionally, we have always-on performance marketing campaigns with dedicated game banner ads to drive installs for your game on PC. For tentpole launch moments, we work with our partners on custom marketing campaigns, including videos featuring games that we promote through media, press, and social. And at these moments, we leverage our most effective surfaces, including the Google Search homepage, to drive mass awareness and reach new potential players. I'll share a few examples of how we activated these different channels for our launches last year. In Korean Taiwan, we had our introduction moment with hero videos, out-of-home placements, and retail partnerships. In the US, Canada, and Brazil, we partnered with 11 YouTube gaming creators on fun videos that educated gamers about Google Play games on PC and the games available. Now we have a quick video that shows more of how we brought these campaigns to life. Let's take a look. Scrolling with the mouse wheel, that's different. I like it. <gasps> It looks so good. Mas aonde você termina o seu gameplay? O progresso já tá salvo. We can't wait to partner with you all more on these campaigns and evergreen marketing opportunities this year. And as you caught a glimpse of in the video, we've been hearing great feedback from users who've shared what they like about playing mobile games on PC. Both our players and the creators we partnered with love the immersive experience of playing on a bigger screen, the cross-device syncing, and the mouse and keyboard controls, all of which are giving them new ways to multitask and enjoy their games. And we've seen this love for playing cross-platform translate into incremental business impact for our partners. Here's a few examples of the promising metrics we've seen. AFK Arena saw a nearly 60% increase in seven-day retention for multi-platform users compared to single-platform users. Ebony, The King's Return, saw a 20% increase in total monthly active users across both mobile and PC since launching on Google Play Games. And Valor Legends saw a more than 2x increase in average revenue per paying user on PC. Our goal is to drive more of this impact for you as we raise user awareness through sustained marketing and grow the number of users engaging with our games in multiple ways. We look forward to bringing these multi-platform experiences to more players as we continue expanding to more markets this year, which I'm now excited to reveal will include Japan, countries in Europe, and additional regions, which we'll share more updates on soon. Through industry-leading optimization, we've been able to lower our CPU and GPU requirements and will continue doing so this year to further expand access so all gamers with a Windows 10 and up device can play Google Play games on PC. From a starter laptop with integrated graphics to a high-end gaming machine with the latest graphics card. With this expansion to new regions and more devices, we'll continue investing heavily in marketing and expect to unlock tens of billions of impressions for Google Play games this year. Now I'd like to invite John to share more about the technical requirements and next steps you can take to be part of Google Play Games on PC. Thanks, Grace. I'm John, and I manage games and gameplay for Google Play Games on PC. As you can see, it's been an exciting year for us, and we've seen some incredible new cross-platform gaming experiences emerge. 
Let's dig into some technical details about what it takes to go cross-platform. Generally speaking, if you go from mobile to cross-platform, there are a few things to consider. Let's start with the basics. You won't always have a touch screen, and instead you'll have a mouse and a keyboard. This might affect how you think about controls. Games that use only single-handed tap mechanics are probably fine in most situations. A mouse click can work as a tap, and Google Play games will translate them for you into touch events automatically. However, if you're relying on swiping, that's harder with a mouse. In pinch zoom, you'll want to think about a mouse scroll wheel. And if your game is two-handed, then you'll definitely want to think about keyboard controls since a mouse only gives you one hand. Also, your game will probably be played on a large screen, so you'll want to ensure that high-quality graphics and textures are available. The large screen might also affect your user interface, since you'll have more room for buttons that would be too small on mobile. Let's go through some interesting examples of games which have done a good job, and let's start with mouse controls. Cookie Run Kingdom is a solid example of cross-platform gameplay. You can see here that it uses the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in and out when in the map view. One thing to note is that adding scroll wheel support doesn't require handling all forms of mouse events. You can keep using touch events and simply add support for mouse scroll wheel events where needed. Another example of a game using mouse really well is Left to Survive, where you can see that they're using mouse capture for a first-person style experience. On desktop, when you capture the mouse, the cursor disappears and you get relative coordinates when the mouse moves. This is ideal for aim style mechanics and it avoids problems where the mouse cursor would otherwise go out of the window or hit the edge of the screen. As you can see, they've also implemented the escape key to toggle the main menu, releasing the mouse capture. That's important so that players don't get stuck in your game. Switching to keyboard, Asphalt 9 is a good example of a game which did a great job of converting from touch and mobile tilt controls to keyboard controls. They've got really great tools for teaching users how to play the game, too. Of course, there's a whole range of things you can do when going cross-platform. For example, Just Dance allows you to pair your phone with the desktop. Then you can play music on the desktop while the motion sensor in the phone picks up your dance moves. It's a really neat example of how your desktop build and your mobile build might actually be very different and use the capabilities of the different platforms. So those things are really about adjusting to different form factors to make a game play well. We've also had some common user requests. For example, progress sync is so important. It's magical to watch users launch a game they just played on Android and pick up right where they left off. But the opposite is also true. When mobile users try their favorite game on PC, many quickly try to figure out how to log in, and then they get frustrated if they can't figure it out, or if they can't sync with their mobile game. Another common request from users is for keyboard mapping. Different users have different needs for how keyboard controls work, and often want to customize which keys are used for what. Some of you watching this have already built PC games, and may have done user interfaces for remapping, but some of you might not have done this before and might not know where to start. The good news is that we have some new capabilities coming in Google Play games where we can take care of remapping for you. In this example, Ronin the Last Samurai simply handles keyboard commands like usual and uses the input SDK to tell us which keys they're looking for. We then take care of the remapping interface and transparently switch keys based on the user's preferences. Now this new capability is your call. You can disable it if you want to provide your own remapping user interface, but the idea is to reduce the effort required to support keyboard controls. If you want to do it right, here's a list of things to do. And thus far, every game in Google Play Games is optimized for PC. And these fully optimized games are eligible for the top line of marketing on the Google Play Games platform, including participation in regular marketing moments and featuring on our channels. Basically, all of the amazing things that Grace mentioned are available to fully optimized games. Fully optimized games build for native x86 64-bit architecture. They integrate with Play Game Services version 2 for auto sign-in and sync. They ensure there's good mouse and keyboard support, including the input SDK, to make it easy for users to learn the game controls. And they optimize graphics and textures. Having said this, we recognize that not everyone can create a fully optimized game for desktop on day one. And we've been looking at how to make it easier. On that note, let's address a primary bit of feedback we've had from developers about how to get started more easily. 
And that feedback is really a question. Can I just use my existing mobile build to get started in Google Play games? Well, I'm very excited to say that we have something new here, and the answer is yes. Here at Google Game Developers Summit, we're announcing a new partnership with Intel, who has helped us make it possible for Google Play games to support ARM builds on Intel PCs. What that means for you is that it's now super easy to get started with your mobile build, even if it's ARM. And in fact, this is bigger news than just using your mobile build. It's a new, easier path to become part of Google Play games. Our goal is that as long as your game plays well on desktop, either with just a mouse or with a mouse and keyboard, then you should be able to join Google Play Games on PC. And to do that, there are three steps. First, you really do want to make sure your game plays well on desktop. You can try out your game on a Chromebook or use a mouse on an Android device to see how well it plays. We're also working on making our Google Play Games developer emulator public soon, which will give you another way to test your build on PC. What we're talking about here is really what we discussed at the beginning of this technical section, making sure the game can be played enjoyably. If your game is tap only, then it's probably good to go. If you've already added keyboard support for a two-handed game, you're also probably good to go. Once you're ready, let us know, and we'll put you on the list for acceptance testing. The link is on your screen. Bear in mind that we're just starting the program and we're scaling up over several months, so it may take some time before you hear back. We're starting with games that have over 30,000 monthly active users and over a three and a half star rating to ensure that users are getting games that they really enjoy on mobile. Longer term, the goal is to make this available to as many game developers as possible. So if you indicate that you're ready now, we can keep you updated as we scale up the program. And that brings us to the part where we test the game. Quality is very important to us. And in addition to the gameplay compatibility aspects I mentioned before, your game will be tested for stability, visual quality, and we'll be prioritizing games that have features like progress sync between devices. One last thing to call out here, and it's important. While you can use an ARM build to get started on Intel machines, ARM code is not native to PCs, which generally run x86 code. For this reason, we'll ask you to provide an x86 version eventually so that all PC users can get native performance. This shouldn't block you from getting started, and you can start with ARM but we do recommend making sure you know how to create an x86 build early in the process so that you aren't surprised later. And really, creating an x86 build is the first step towards fully optimizing your game for PC. I've outlined some steps to get started, but games which are fully optimized for cross-platform are eligible for all the benefits of cross-platform marketing. So to recap, there are now two ways to be part of Google Play Games on PC. On the right, if you have a mobile build which plays well on desktop, then you can let us know, and this can get you started. On the left, games which become fully optimized are eligible for the full range of promotional opportunities. To wrap things up, here's what to do next. On the left, you can see a link for getting started on Google Play Games, where you can tell us when your mobile build is ready to go for PCs. And on the right, you can check out other sessions at Google Game Developer Summit. There's some good technical deep dives on some of the topics we've discussed here. And with that, thank you. We hope to see you soon on Google Play Games on PC.